Detail. And salute. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you. Thank you, Firefighter Lawal. Please remain standing for the invocation by Father Richard Bennett. Detail, uncover. And let us pray. O oh, good and gracious God, we ask you to bless us and the members of Squad 41, both past and present, as they celebrate 150 years of faithful dedication and tireless service to the people of Harlem, the Bronx, and greater New York City. We are truly grateful for these local heroes. We love them and appreciate them for who they are as lifesavers who answer those 911 calls for help in answer to our prayers. Even though they often come to grips with their own brokenness and shortcomings, they are indeed holy, for they are instruments of God's work. By their quick response and rescues, they rob death of an early victory when a child can be returned to the loving arms of their parents, to siblings, and to their grandparents. There is once again new life. One who has, was assumed to be dead due to their the fire or tragedy, again emerges from the smoke and ash or twisted rubble, and once rescued, now lives. Those who were trapped, considered lost, and now are found as a direct result of the fruits of their labors. We ask you, O oh Lord, to remind us of that gospel. Come to me, all of you who are weary and are burdened, and I will give you life. For these first responders are a lifeline to a springtime full of hope for the people of New York who are frightened and wounded in their time of need. Therefore, O oh Lord, we ask you to continue to bless this station house and its members that serve as a beacon of light and have done so for 150 years in the face of emergencies filled with the darkness of anxiety and despair. Through their rigorous training and discipline, they open up a gateway of hope with the jaws of life. They allow loved ones to return home from being carried down a ladder or a staircase, pulled from the water or lowered by ropes to safety, and through highly coordinated teamwork to colleagues waiting for them on the ground. Bless these rescue-clad angels, O oh Lord, these angels of safety and hope. May the power of their witness and bravery inspire other generations to take up the torch and walk in their boots as first responders. May these servants pass on the wisdom and knowledge to young novices who desire to learn the trade that they have and be of help to the people that they have been commissioned to serve. Finally, we ask you, O oh Lord, to bless and protect these public servants of yours. Bring them home to this fire company to enjoy the fellowship of their common fraternity as New York City firefighters. Return them to the enduring love, care, and comfort of their families. And may that relentless spirit they possess to always go over and beyond the call of duty be their redemption that every human heart craves so that God himself may welcome you with all the immortal words of the sacred scriptures. 
Well done, O good and faithful servant. Receive what I have prepared for you. And then the beloved members of Squad 41 will have in their possession the best of both worlds. For we ask this in God's great name. Amen. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Father Bennett. Will everyone please be seated? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Thomas McHugh. I am currently the captain of Squad Company 41, and I am honored to be the master of ceremonies this morning. We are here today to celebrate 150 years of service that Squad 41 has provided to the citizens of New York City. I want to take a moment to introduce the members of our dais, and I kindly ask you to please hold your applause until the end while I say each distinguished member's name. We have the Executive Officer to the Commissioner, Lieutenant Tracy Lewis, Chief of Special Operations, Malcolm Moore, Division 6 Deputy Chief, Stephen Sullivan, Rescue Operations Battalion Chief, Joseph Downey, Uniform Fire Officers Association Vice President, Chris Jensen, Uniform Firefighters Association, Bronx Trustee, Mark DeRay. And the pastor of Immaculate Conception Church, Father Richard Bennett. At this time, we'd also like to give a warm welcome to the former members of Engine 401, Engine 412, Squad 5, and their families. Additionally, we would like to welcome the former members of Squad 41 and their families. This firehouse has been a part of this community for 150 years. Throughout that time, the firefighters here have been identified as Engine 41, the second section of Engine 41, Squad 5, and Squad 41. What has never changed is how proudly its members have provided the fire protection for its residents. The number of firefighters who have worked here numbers in the thousands, and yet the dedication to this area has never wavered. The community has stood by our side during some challenging and heartbreaking times, and we strive every day to return that commitment and dedication. Members of this house take pride in serving the residents of New York City and recognize it would not be possible without their support. It is now my honor to introduce the executive officer to the fire commissioner, Lieutenant Tracy Lewis. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Squad 41. <laughs> it's wonderful to be here to celebrate 150 years of outstanding service by the members of Squad Company 41. We want to commend all the members here for their hard work to plan and prepare for this event, and for the excellent work that you all do every day protecting the residents and visitors of this community and all the surrounding communities in the Bronx. Although the fire commissioner could not be here today, please know that she celebrates this occasion or this milestone with you all. We always talk about centennials. Centennials are special days for all of us, a chance to recollect the great times together and celebrate our history. But today, you all have gone above that and well beyond. You are celebrating your sesquicentennial, 150 years of service. Service and dedication have been a staple of this firehouse since it was born, and it is still on display every time you go out that door, responding to fires, to rescue someone trapped, and for so many other emergencies and services to the community. The traditions of bravery and sacrifice are clearly seen on the walls of this house in the names of the members who made the ultimate sacrifice, including the six members working on September 11th. Lieutenant Michael Healy, Firefighter Robert Hamilton, Firefighter Richard Van Hine, Firefighter Michael Lyons, Firefighter Thomas Cullen, and Firefighter Gregory Sikorsky. Also, let us not forget Lieutenant Brian Sullivan, 
who passed in 2019 after leading the members through a busy 24-hour tour. The commitment to never forget those we've lost is demonstrated by the plaques that you all see here in this firehouse. They also show that no matter how many great times we have within these walls and how much we all love what we do, this is and always will be a dangerous job. This is something that hasn't changed since the day this house opened and it never will. But the commitment to serving the community, to upholding the traditions of this department and responding to assist others will also never change. The promise to protect the residents of this great city will always endure because we are the best fire department in the world. Thank you again to all the members past and present and to also those who could not be with us today and those who have passed on. We have ser I'm sorry, who have served this department so well and provided such outstanding service to this community. And as our chief of department would always say, God bless America and God bless the FDNY. Thank you. Thank you, Lieutenant Lewis. Uh, and now I'd like to give a welcome to Chief of Special Operations, Malcolm Moore. Don't go too far. I, I want you to stand close to me like you stood there, Tracy. <laughs> Listen, everybody knows my pulse is about 140 right now, and I'd rather be at the end of a hallway than standing at this podium right now. But like I always tell my guys in 41, um, you guys welcome me every time I come here. I always feel comfortable walking in these doors. So this is the very least I could do. Uh, good morning, and welcome friends, family, neighbors, officials, and of course, past and present members of 41. It's always a great day when we can come together, celebrate something as remarkable as 150 years of service to the city of New York. Um, I personally greatly thank you. Uh, the turnout speaks for itself. Thank you all for taking out the time uh, to be here to celebrate another milestone for this special company. Uh, in 1874, 41 was established as Engine Company 41. Uh, since 1904, this very space has been known as home away from home for, more, for all of the members here. Uh, over the years, the apparatus, the equipment, even some of the faces have changed. But what hasn't is the commitment to this community and the department's mission, which is to save lives and protect property. Uh, that's what we're really here to celebrate today. Not just all of the years, but all of the countless lives, homes, and businesses that have been spared by the dedicated members who have graced this company. Uh, inside these walls, I see a, a bunch of retired members who can recall the tough times when the city looked to close this firehouse, uh, while 41 stood at the top as one of the busiest companies in the city. Uh, the community led the fight along with the members, recognizing the contributions that the companies made, and 41 was eventually back in business, back in better than ever. 41 drew the designation as an enhanced engine company and later on a squad company 41. Uh, I know Tracy touched on it, and it definitely bears repeating. Uh, I'd be remiss in talking about the rich history, history of the company without mentioning two moments that forced us all to pause. The first was 9-11, where 41 saw six of its members go out that door and never return. They made the supreme sacrifice in a heroic effort to protect citizens of the city and are forever memorialized on this apparatus floor. We thank them every day for their sacrifice, and each of you honor them every time you go out the door. I'd also like to take a second to acknowledge Sully, uh, Lieutenant Brian Sullivan, who we lost back in August of 2019. A class act, he served this department in command with distinction and is also permanently cemented in the foundation of this firehouse forever. We miss them all and we'll never forget. Uh, while it's so important to remember those we've lost over the years, it does give me great pleasure to reflect on things that make 41 one of the best companies the department has to offer. Ropes and rescues are very hot topics around the department right now, and a few members here have either supported or performed in several rope rescues over the last few years. Just a month ago, over on St. Nicholas Place in Harlem, we witnessed three rope rescues of tracked civilians at a building fire. 41's very own Tommy Morrison 
lowered uh, the chauffeur of 28 truck to rescue one of the victims, and then Matt Nolan was lowered to rescue another. Uh, where are you guys? I just want to point you guys out for a second, maybe give you guys a nice round of applause. That's the stock that's in this company. I mean, this, these, these kind of acts, selfless acts, high-risk acts are, are performed by this company every day. So I just wanted to point them out because they deserve it. Uh, I could stand here and talk all day about the impact that the members of this company have each day. I hear it from the battalions and the divisions following many operations and see it firsthand during my ventures out onto the fire floor. Please don't tell anybody on the seventh and eighth floor that I'm still on the fire floor. <laughs> uh, excellence is ingrained in each new member that walks through these doors after being passed down from generation to generation. It's what we've all come to respect, and the guys here never disappoint. So to Tommy, uh, Scotty, Chris, and my guy Jimmy McGee, who's uh, somewhere creating havoc overseas, and all of the past and present members of 41, Upper Manhattan and Harlem, thank you. Washington Heights, thank you. The Bronx definitely thanks you, and so do I. Thank you for all you do to protect life and property in this neighborhood and around the city. And thank you for every tour being great representatives of the command and of the department. Congratulations again on 150 years of excellence, and we're all excited for the next chapter. Thank you all, and stay safe. Oh, thank you for those kind words, Chief Moore. Uh, now I'd please like to welcome UFOA Vice President Chris Jensen and UFA Bronx Trustee Mark DeRay. They will be presenting a plaque to Squad 41 on behalf of the UFOA and the UFA. Good morning, Tom, and all. Uh, just take this opportunity, uh, as the Chief and Tracy have uh, mentioned, the past and current members of the company, um, you never realize uh, what a small job it is. But uh, just want to have a little recognition. Uh, my, my own father-in-law uh, crossed the threshold of this door uh, to this firehouse back in uh, January of 1967. So uh, you, know, you never know where you're going to cross, uh, cross paths. So, so. And my mother-in-law, you know, he, he, uh, he was here for a bit... Uh, about 10, 10, 11 years, and they had having some very, very good times. He, he, he found it better for uh, his longevity to move out to Queens, where he subsequently was promoted, and, um, and then succumbed to job-related stomach and pancreatic cancer back in 94. But you never know how much stuff you have to move from a house that you lived in for 55 years until your son-in-law's got to move it. But it was just neat, you know, how, how small a job this is and, and, and come across some of the stuff that, uh, some of the mementos from this job. But uh, without further ado, and honoring those that uh, have come uh, before us here today, so honoring the past, their service, some of their sacrifice, the current members to celebrate this great day, and then, of course, hope and pray for the future. Presented to the officers and members of Squad Company 41 for your 150 years of dedicated service to the citizens of the City of New York, 1874 to 2024 from the Uniform Fire Officers Association, Local 854, International Association of Firefighters. James Brosey, President. Good morning. I just want to say congratulations to Squad 41, uh, injured 41 members, 41 2, Squad 5, and uh, all the past members of this that have come through the doors of this fine uh, company. Um, my name is Mark Duray. I'm the Bronx trustee from the UFA. Uh, we have a plaque we want to uh, present to the members and the captain. It says, present to the officers and members of Squad Company 41 an acknowledgement of you providing first class fire protection and exemplary service to those who work and dwell within New York City for the past 150 years. Job well done, Uniform Firefighters Association.
Thank you, Chris and Mark. I truly appreciate your kind gestures. Uh, now I'd please like to welcome Lieutenant Scott Altman of Squad 41. He's going to say a couple words. All right, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and members of Squad 41. It's with great honor and humility that we gather here today to celebrate the 150th anniversary of Squad 41. For a century and a half, this distinguished company has been at the forefront of serving and protecting our community with unwavering dedication, courage, selflessness, from the earliest days of horse-drawn carriages to the modern state-of-the-art equipment of today. The brave men of Squad 41 have exemplified the true meaning of heroism. They have rushed into dangers when others flee, risking their own lives to save those in peril. Through the years, the men of Squad 41 have faced countless challenges and adversities, yet they've always stood strong, united by their commitment to duty, their bond as brothers in arms. Their resilience in the face of adversity is a testament to their extraordinary character, unwavering resolve as we reflect on the legacy of Squad 41. Let us also remember the sacrifices made by those who came before us. We honor the memory of the fallen heroes who've made the ultimate sacrifice in service to others. Their bravery will never be forgotten and their spirit will continue to inspire us for generations to come. Looking to the future, let us reaffirm our commitment to upholding the noble traditions set forth by Squad 41. Let us continue to strive for excellence in everything we do, knowing that the community we serve relies on us to be their guardians and their champions. In closing, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every member of Squad 41, past and present, for your extraordinary service, your unwavering dedication, and your selfless sacrifice. I also want to take a moment to acknowledge that our company isn't just driven by the members, it's also backed by each of our families with their continuous sacrifices and support. As they've endured, along with us, the long training days, the 24-hour shifts, missed holidays, missed family events, we thank you. May we continue to honor the proud legacy of Squad 41 for another 150 years and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lieutenant Altman. We certainly heard some wonderful remarks and recollection about Squad 41 here this morning. I would like to thank all of today's speakers for sharing their recollections with us. We will now unveil the centennial plaque celebrating Squad 41 150 years of service to the city of New York. Will the ceremonial officer please escort Lieutenant Lewis, Chief Moore, and Father Richard Bennett to the plaque? As we dedicate this memorial plaque this day, it reads 150 years of dedicated service. This plaque is dedicated to the very first, the past, and the present officers and firefighters who have valiantly served in the quarters of Squad 41, Engine 41, Engine 41, Second, and Squad 5, established January the 1st. 1874. Detail, oh Lord, we ask you to rain down your blessing upon this plaque, this firehouse, and all of its members, both past and present. May you continue to lead them and guide them by the grace of your spirit. Watch over them, bless them, and protect them. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the officers and members of Squad 41, thank you for attending our 150th year celebration ceremony. At this time, I would like to call upon two senior members of Squad 41 to help recognize someone who has been a part of the community for quite a few years and has had a tremendous impact on this neighborhood, as well as on Squad 41 in particular. I would ask uh, Firefighter Timothy O'Toole and Daniel Pritzker to please come forward. Good morning. Over the last 40 years, there has been a constant uh, pre presence for us, members of Engine Squad, Engine and Squad 41. Two people, two neighbors, two friends. They've always been here for us in good times and bad. They've included us in their lives. They've made us better people for knowing them and all the good that they do. We would not be here today celebrating 150 years of service to the city if it wasn't for this couple and their family. One of just many things that they have done for the community is being a driving force in keeping this firehouse open when the city wanted to close us due to the fiscal crisis 30 years ago. Today we would like to thank them for all they've done by making them honorary members of Engine Squad 41. Marty and Francine Rogers, would you please both come up? Thank you. <laughs> the community loves this company, loves this firehouse. And I want to thank all the praise, as they say, in the, in the, and when they win the World Series and things, all praise to God. Uh, Psalm 40 says, here I am, Lord, send me. I learned that from many people, from Sam Marquez, and from many people over the years. There's so many people who are so important. Immaculate Conception Church, the South Bronx people for change. We prayed every single day, man, for 700 days. <laughs> we stood in front of this house with chalk and all kinds of things. My kids grew up with our twins. The first word they learned to say was, don't close engine 41. <laughs> 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 and they're outside somewhere. You know, they just got here. Hallelujah. All the members, all the officers, all the members, Squad 41, FDNY, we thank you so much. We love you. We still pray for you. Every time that, that was our thing too, when you heard the sirens, pray to the Lord, please save our firehouse. Please save 41, man. And it, we had dark days here. We had many of you, and some of you guys know that. <laughs> Al Gonzalez on top of the rig after he cut, pulled the cables and cut the, oh, brother Al, cut the thing and drove the cops from the four row nuts. But, <laughs> but all is well with, with on 150th Street today. Thank you, Squad 41, Captain McHugh, all the officers and all the men. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts till the day we die. And this special, Francine's the brains behind the operation. <laughs> and we have some old pictures if you want to see them, but thank you so much and God bless you. Okay. Um, thank you, Marty, Francine. Uh, just, that concludes our ceremony. I would just like to extend an invitation to everyone present to our luncheon that we had to uh, 
Change the location, so I hope everybody got that. It's up at Mickey Spillane's Bar Restaurant up in Eastchester now, and uh, everybody's welcome. So thank you again. Truly appreciate it. Thank you.